Welcome to the Bureau of Reporting Unusual Current Events. I'm your host and investigative reporter, Bruce. The purpose of my little venture here is to produce specials concentrating on bringing the strange and true to you. Having a little fun along the way, we'll look at strange, mysterious animals and events past and present environmental issues, even the odd factual stories, and a whole lot more. So, stay tuned. You're out line. Most of us would have heard through the news, popular documentary or science fiction movies how just over half of all life on Earth was wiped out by an asteroid the size of Mount Everest 65 million years ago. Amongst the critters wiped out were all the medium to large sized dinosaurs, leaving only some of the smaller and more highly adaptable theropod dinosaurs to carry on. We know them nowadays as birds. For many a year it was thought this asteroid was solely responsible for this mass extinction, but as you will see, it wasn't. Thanks to some very inquisitive scientists looking for answers to the cause of this mass extinction found evidence to surmise on its own, the asteroid wasn't the entire cause, but rather the straw that broke the camel's back. The lesson here was, mass extinctions are not always as clear-cut as we'd like them to be. Evidence collected from the rocks by these and other paleontologists revealed that the mass extinction started some 40 million years earlier the result of some rather energetic volcanic activity. This resulted from continental plates moving faster than usual during this period, drifting apart and colliding. It seems when the asteroid hit, it killed off the remaining medium to large-sized creatures. Thinned out from millions of years of volcanic activity, Dinosaurs still managed to carry on in very reasonable numbers until a rock from the heavens turned them into just another species fighting for survival. Well, before this event was a far worse but much less known one called the Permian Mass Extinction. It occurred 250 million years ago, leaving the entire planet with only 5% of life. Arguably, it was the single largest mass extinction ever. Before this extinction, though, our world was as complete, if not more rich than today in life. While its wonders were uniquely different, it was still a green and very diverse place, full of rich environments teeming with life, not all that different from today. Evolution took many animals during this time on some very wild excursions through life, developing some very strange and even peculiar lines of creatures. Some were even mammal-like, poised and ready to take center stage some 250 million years ago if it wasn't for a very cruel twist of fate. Professor Vincent Courtelotz of the University of Paris investigating this period in time thought he had found the culprit in the Siberian traps. These traps are the 250 million year old remains of a huge tear in the Earth's crust, measuring Thousands of square kilometers, it was the site of the largest single eruption ever seen by this planet. Scientists named this phenomenon a flood basalt eruption. Once again, this wasn't a volcano. No, 
and a gigantic hole, a rip in the Earth's crust, measuring 200,000 square kilometers, with volcanic dust and carbon dioxide gushing out by millions of tons over eight to 10,000 years, it did wind up kicking off the worst extinction event ever stretching over a period of 80,000 years. Dr. Paul Wignall of Leeds University was the fellow who not only researched this event, but made sense of it. He called on his own and new vital evidence acquired from Greenland by Dr. Michael Rampino of New York University which helped him to crack this mystery. In short, with this and calling on the work of other eminent world scientists, he managed to piece together a picture of what actually happened back then, in the very darkest days of Earth's history. Methane hydrate is rich in carbon-12, a super greenhouse gas. And in the amounts found by Dr. Wignall and 250 million year old rocks with the trapped isotopes would suggest it was like an electric blanket back then wrapped around the earth. The reaction of these deposits released by the warm seawater in itself would have cleared the oceans of nearly all life. While Siberia's massive volcanic activity raised Earth's climate by 4 to 5 degrees, it was the global warming actions of the C12 gas release that pushed up global temperatures a whopping 8 to 10 degrees, turning our world into a desert from pole to pole. It's these events that came close to wiping out nearly all life from the face of this world. The forces of nature are mind-numbing at best. So, when our world's best scientists decipher and isolate specific events like excessive carbon gases in our atmosphere that warmed our planet enough for seas to release carbon-12 rich methane hydrate, a gas that came close to cooking all life on Earth from this planet, we really need to listen. After all, it could happen again, except this time we could well be the call.